Try to look at, get it to Randolph. It comes to Snuggerud. Ortega walks in, fires, and off target. Karam's off the glass and comes to Gensel. Broken up there by Schmaltz. Snuggerud now operating behind the net. Gensel has a good look. And look at that tic-tac play. And it's Tyler Vessel on a power play goal, and it's 1-0 Mavs. Good work by the Mavs down low here, Jake. Well, it really is, and they utilize that backdoor play. Just a great play there by Genzel with that vision to find Vessel just sneaking down behind uh, on that back door. You're going to see here, fake shot there. Uh, easy uh, open. Two power play goals last night for North Dakota. One from Rhett Gardner, a second by Brock Besser. Kajula now rings the puck. Besser will receive it. Try to play it inside. Steers it to Stetcher. He's got people in front. Kajula scores! Just six seconds remaining in the period. Well, what vision by Stetcher. Look at that play. And then Kajula, no panic, rather than just tip that puck in. That one's right on the line there. Stetcher with a great look. Rather than just tip that, he does the spinorama, pulls it on his forehand. What a big goal with 6.3 seconds left. In a and uh, Cam able just to make that first initial save and then get a clear. How about that? hit by Drake Kajula as he put a shoulder into Steven Spinner. Well, the reason we saw Bryn Chizik on the Schmaltz line is that Drake Kajula is in the North Dakota training room. Backhander, Sanderson! Oh, he's waited a long, long time for that. Colton Sanderson's first career goal. They'll grab the puck. Oh. Troy Stetcher just grabbed the puck. They'll deliver it to the North Dakota bench. And the senior from Moose Jaw has number one. Well, you just felt it was going to happen. And there, he's just fortunate. He goes to the paint. It pops out. And uh, just a good awareness rather than to get this on his forehand and get all kinds of time. He just flings that on his backhand and is able to go 5-0. And I love Troy Stetcher. What a teammate he is. Around the puck, looking for the streaking Ortega down the far wing, but it was broken up. Well, what a play by Osmus there. Is he back? Here's Besser firing, and he scores! <laughs> Brock Besser is not going to miss many of those, and he extends his goal scoring streak to seven games. Well, this goal happens because Gage Osmus knocks that puck out of the air before this to keep that in the zone. So Gage Osmus with just a great play as they had a guy streaking and then Besser gets this right on the top of the circle and he can rip that puck and look at here, Blaze, he's going to make the goalie uh, go to the bench and he's going. That front presence, Gardner and Stitcher scores! Joy Stetcher launched it from the perimeter. And again, I mentioned Rick Gardner. This is a big reason why Stetcher finds the back of the net, because look at Rick Gardner in his net front presence. Well, I was just going to say, Dan, you hit the nail right on the head there with that traffic in front with Gardner. Blankenberg never really picks this puck up because of that. Johnson does a good job on getting it around. And watch this. He creates this lane. Stetcher gets on his horse, walks that line, and in the big play, pretty good. Uh, oh. Johnson scores! <laughs> Luke Johnson makes it 5-1. to one. Well, Luke Johnson... Just a good job finishing a body check, getting that thing right to the net. And he just goes back to the side of the net. Fortunate bounce for Johnson. Right here, he just throws it up. Gardner's in front. Puck, puck, pounces, or puck bounces right out to Luke Johnson. He's able to get the monkey off the back.